Hey, I'm Michael Bacon from the Bacon Brothers. And I'm Kevin Bacon, and we hope everybody at Levine Children's Hospital gets well soon. We're thinking of you. Hey, everyone. I'm Meredith Dean from Seacrest Studios, and right now we have Michael and Kevin Bacon with us, and they're musicians from the famous band, the Bacon Brothers. And, of course, also Kevin is an award-winning actor. Um, so I wanted to know why you guys are here for Levine Children's Hospital, and what's your connection to Charlotte, if any? Well, we, we love, we've been to Charlotte several times, and um, they asked us to come and play, and we love to play, and, and it's, it's a blessing that it's such a great opportunity to, you know, help people who are in need, and we love doing that. Great. And what kind of band would you guys consider yourselves to be? What genre? You know, we're often asked that, and when we first put the band together, you know, you, you that's like the first question you start to get. And so we were saying, well, it's kind of folk rock, but then it's got soul in it, and it's got a little country. So I said, hey, how about if we call ourselves Folk Rock Soul Country? And that was a little too long, so we decided to call it Foro Soco. Foro Soco, I like that. Foro Soco, baby. And so I understand when you were 17, you were also in a band, ironically called Footloose. I was, yes. It was. Uh, I was. I was in a backup brand, band for uh, a, a, a singer whose name was Chet Brown. Well, his name started out as Chet Brown, then he became Jet Brown. And his career just took off after that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, it was. Uh, it was Chet Brown and Footloose. Awesome. Okay. And so, how long have you guys been playing? And where do you normally play? Well, there's never any normal thing. It kind of mm -hmm. depends. Um, we've been playing music together really all of our lives. I can't remember. I'm nine years older than Kevin. I can't remember a time where I wasn't playing the guitar and he wasn't banging on a pot or something like that. So, music was a big part of our household, and we started the band about 24 years ago. But it was really based on all of just our childhood of growing up and loving music and loving to play. That's wonderful. So, we have some patients that might want to be a band member one day, or maybe they even want to be an actor. So, well, Kevin got in a band, shouldn't be any problem. <laughs> That's right. So, what advice would you give to our patients who really want to become an actor or a musician one day? You know, if it's something that you really want and something that you, you dream at, the one thing you got to know is that you got to work really, really really hard at it. If it's an instrument, you got to practice and practice and practice. And if you're an actor, you have to find as many ways to practice acting as you possibly can, which is a little bit harder for an actor because it's kind of hard to just go into your room by yourself and act. But you have to think of ways and look for classes and look for theaters that you can apprentice in. And, and you just got to work every day at it. And um, if it's something you really want and you hang in there long enough, Sooner or later, you'll be able to do it for a living. That's great. What and maybe there's something they can do from their hospital beds. Anything? You'd like well, I think that one of the great things is family support, and you know we have four sisters. Our parents who are real supporters. Um, in fact, it's unusual we're playing tonight, and none of our sisters are here. And mm -hmm. usually they show up. I think that family support is a big part of it, and I think as Kevin said, there's a, a love of of whatever it is, and if you're kind of born with that love, it's. Uh, I think it's better to go towards something you love than some alternative that might make you a living. So neither Kevin nor I have any skills. Kevin, I have no acting skills. Kevin has musical skills and acting, but neither of us, we barely can spell. So we sort of had to make it work for us. Absolutely. And so sometimes our patients have really tough days. We all have tough days. What inspires you to keep going? I guess I always try to wake up in the morning when I have a tough day and I say, say to myself, um, uh, I'm a special person. Uh, I may not be the best looking, you know, tallest, most talented, um, richest, most famous, you know, what anything, but I am special. I have something to offer the world that is um, unique and I need to um, keep working at trying to do that. Well, I think it's, um, meeting all the challenges of life and just moving through it and not spending a lot of time thinking about what the challenges are, just figuring how to, you know, I'm a cancer survivor and there's one thing that came up and I went through, moved through it and there's just another challenge. And I think if you look at life that way, uh, don't look at it too big, just what do you have to do today, tomorrow to get through what you need to do. That's amazing that you're a cancer survivor and how exactly did you get through that? I know some of our patients can probably relate. Fantastic care. A lot of support from my family and uh, belief that I could, and I did. That's wonderful. And so I have a couple of fun questions. Okay. Uh, if you guys could be a Disney character, who would you be? Do uh, you want to go first? No, because uh, <laughs> you, you, don't know. you narrow the field down a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, this is kind of obscure, but I remember my kids used to watch um, Beauty and the Beast. And there was this uh, big, dumb guy named Gaston. Oh, Gaston, who, yes. Who was like, built like a, you know, a, a house. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was amazing. He always cracked me up. And I don't know if I really want to be him, but uh, <laughs> oh, you are. I think about it. He's but memorable, though, for sure. Isn't it a little easier to ask about superheroes than Disney? Like, who wants to really Absolutely. be a Disney character? I don't know. Well, well, Mickey Mouse, Marvel, is that okay? So you want to be Mickey, Mickey Mouse? Mouse is, yeah, he's my number one. Okay, yeah. why Mickey? Well, Mickey Mouse Club, Annette Funicello, you know, connections like that. Absolutely. And are there... Nobody knows who Annette Funicello is now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> now, are there any artists that inspired your music? Uh, singing musical artists? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot. Um, it's kind of like we're like a, I'd say the worst, we're kind of the singer-songwriter driven band. We play our own songs. So whenever we hear a song, a new song by a, a writer that we really love. But I mean, you know, when you're as old as we are, the list of people that's inspired you is, is pretty long. Absolutely. Any specifics? One that you can think of? Even when you were a kid? Joni Mitchell, uh, James Taylor, uh, The Band, um, Elvis Presley, uh, The Beatles. I mean, the list really goes on. I mean, it, you know, growing up in the time period that we did, the Revolution in music was a really great thing. It's just, it's like a, you know, it's such a menu of all different kinds of music to, to love. You guys have any big projects coming down the pipeline for the Bacon Brothers? Well, we're t touring, you know. Yeah, we have a lot shows. of gigs lined up, and hopefully we'll get to as many as we can. We want to, we want to do a, um, we're gonna next next couple of weeks we're gonna do a, a video of a couple of songs, um, and we're gonna do them in a way it's something we've never tried before, which is um, a 360 degree video. Oh, those are so cool, the the Facebook ones. And yeah, you can see our Facebook really through neat. yourself. With your yeah, you can see them on YouTube too. Also, oh, if you have the updated YouTube with YouTube 360, so uh, look for that. It's a new song, and then we're actually gonna do we're gonna do a song that we did. It could be maybe one of two videos we've ever done with our band at all. We did it in the 90s, a song called Boys and Bars, mm -hmm. and we're gonna redo that song and also one of the things you'll be able to see as you float through it is our old original video so you get a chance oh, to, to see the ravages of time <laughs> because the the, the uh, I look the same but I don't know you look exactly the same right. you do it's true it. yeah, the, I, the reason you look the same to you is because your eyes are failing along with everything yeah, else. That must, it must be that it must be the cause of that and so besides playing music and acting what do you guys like to do on a rainy day well, you sort of, I like to sail, but I don't like to sail on a rainy day. So um, I, I like, uh, I'm trying to learn how to speak French. And I'm kind of obsessed with it. Oui. Tu veux parler français? Oui, très bien. Oui, c'est bon ça. Vous aussi? Oui, oui, oui. J'ai habité en France, alors si tu veux pratiquer, on peut. J'ai pratiqué tout le monde. Mais je suis je suis très mal aujourd'hui, mais... Um, soon I will be, be able to speak well. No, <laughs> I'm very you heard my, impressed. You heard my, the end of all my French. Right I put you on the spot there. That was you amazing. Did. Well done. What about you? Speak any other languages? I don't. No. I'm still working with English. No, you're, you're absolutely <laughs> and <the> right. Spelling. <laughs> spelling is bad. My spelling that bad, so is my English. So are there any things that you guys want to talk about that we didn't already mention? Maybe something you want to say to our patients, an encouraging thought, or even something about the band that you want everyone to know? Um, you know, ch uh, check out check out the Bacon Brothers and um, and hang in there, everybody. We're Definitely. we're we're thinking about you and we're, we're wishing you all the best. Thanks so much. Anything from you? The same. Um, you know, we have some songs that I think over the years have people have felt were helpful in in tough situations. Um, one a song Kevin wrote called Angelina that. Mm -hmm. um, None of our songs have ever taken off, but occasionally you look at a song and you, you get emails or communications from people who said it helped them get through things. And so, you know, if, if any of our songs are helpful or therapeutic, that's a, that, to me, that's the greatest gift at all to us. I can't thank y'all enough. Um, this is just wonderful. And I know our patients are going to be super excited to be able to watch the interview from their rooms. Once again, thank you, and we're excited to see you play. Thanks.